Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. I am going to be sharing with you some masking technique ideas today. These are super, super fun. This is part of the Totally Techniques design team blog hop where we are going to be sharing a whole bunch of different ideas using the masking technique. And there are just so many things you can do with this. I can't hardly wait to see what everybody else has made. We're gonna turn this camera around. And I'm going to share a couple different ideas that I came up with with you. Hang tight. We are going to be using the two-tone flora bundle today for the cards that I'm sharing with you. We have a fantastic stamp set and also a set of dies that coordinates with this stamp set. We're also going to be using a sentiment from the Something Fancy stamp set as well as one of the dies from the Stylish Shapes dies, a blending brush, Wink of Stella, linen thread, and then I've got Memento Black, Pear Pizzazz, Balmy Blue, Petal Pink, and Calypso Coral inks. I'm gonna bring in my layers right away. And I've got, my first card is gonna be using Petal Pink. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We've got a basic white envelope. I've also got a layer of black that is three and a half by four and seven eighths. And then I'm using these stitched rectangle dies to stamp and do our first technique on. And this layer is about three and three eighths by four and three quarters just so you have a little bit of measurement there. If you have these dies, they're fantastic. If you don't, you can just cut a layer of basic white this size. Now for our first card here, we're going to be stamping on our die cut basic white layer. I am going to be bringing in the Memento Black ink and the sentiment from the Something Fancy stamp set that's called that says grateful for every Grateful for the everyday magic of you. And I just love the sentiment. I think it's going to make anybody feel special, wonderful. I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle of my layer. Now, I'm going to give that just a moment to dry. And we can fold our petal pink card base. By the way, you are going to find all the dimensions and details, all the ingredients for these cards on my blog, www.estampabove.com. And we, we get to the end of this video, there's actually gonna be a link right up here in the top that you can click on that's gonna take you right to this blog post with these projects to make it easy for you to find that information. Now, I've just got some low-tech artist tape you can use post-it notes, you can use anything that's gonna give you some type of a masking ability. And what I like to do with this, you guys, is I like to take it, let's see, I've got a sweatshirt here. I like to take it and just put it on my clothes and get a little bit of that sticky off of there, whether you're using washi tape or any type of other tape. Now with a post-it note, you don't really need to do this because it is, doesn't have a lot of sticking ability. But I'm gonna do that with my tape and then I'm just gonna take it and I am going to try really hard to get this straight across my sentiment. I'm gonna kind of hold it up to the light and try to make sure that it is straight. And this looks pretty darn good. You could measure if you wanted to and figure, out, figure it out that way. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little blue background on my masked area and I'm just gonna put my blending brush in my balmy blue. I'm gonna um, take off some of that ink and now I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna brush that. And it really doesn't look like I'm doing much, but once we take this masking tape off, you're gonna see that there really is a blue background and it's very soft and subtle and pretty. I think that looks pretty good. I think we're gonna leave it right at that. 
Now I'm going to grab my stamps from my two-tone flora stamp set and the petal pink and the calypso coral ink pads. This is a two-step stamp set, which makes it a lot of fun to use the two coordinating colors that I've chosen. So I'm gonna take the detailed, and I like to stamp this one first, the detailed in the Calypso Coral, and I'm just going to stamp that right over here. And because I'm gonna do two flowers, I'm gonna turn this upside down, and then I'm gonna come in and stamp it again, okay? This stamping the first detail one allows us to then stamp the um, bold image on the inside, and it's easier to line it up when you have the, the darker lines on here. I'm just gonna push that right on there. Oops. And we're gonna do, I'm turning this one upside down now, and I'm gonna bring that in, and I'm gonna stamp that right on here. We're gonna keep our masking in place now, and we're gonna bring in our pear pizzazz, and I'm just gonna stamp some of these leaves around here. I want to get that little bit of greenery in here. I think I'll put one more right up here. And I'm going to do another one right down here. And then in that two-tone flora stamp set, we have this leafy image. Whoops. Hang on. I don't want to ink this whole thing up because it's bigger than my tape. And I want to keep this on one side of my tape. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to ink up the top part of this leaf and I'm going to stamp it right about in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to ink the top part up again and we're going to bring it kind of, now I don't want that. I don't want these other leaves to be stamped down in here. So I'll bring that right in here like this. Okay. Now, before we put our ink away, I want to bring in my envelope and I think what I'm going to do is just stamp that envelope up so it has a nice pretty flower on there to match my card. Oh, look, I got ink all over that. Hang on. Use that. That's a mess. <laughs> We're going to try that again. There we go. And now we've got the petal pink coming in here. And I'm going to stamp that right there. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I'm just gonna leave it with the flower on here. I'm not gonna do any greenery. Let me set this aside. And now we're gonna do the big reveal. And you're gonna very carefully pull your masking tape or your post-it note or whatever you're using here off of there. And isn't that just beautiful? So what we've done here is we've created um, a masked area for our sentiment. This is a super fun and easy technique for beginner stampers to do because you might not have a lot of supplies. And here it looks like we have several layers of cardstock when in fact we've done this all on one. So now I'm gonna grab my bow jig. Um, these bow jigs are super easy to make. There's just some holes drilled in them and we have some nails that don't have heads on them and you can make whatever size bow you want. So I'm gonna double up my linen thread here so that I can have a more substantial bow. And I am just going to use this to tie. Oh, I think I want it to be a little bit longer than that. Here we go. I'm gonna use this and you cross it over, put the thread under and over and then tie it in a single knot. This gives you a perfect little bow every single time. And I'm just gonna pull that nail out. Here's our little bow. If you live in the United States, I do sell these bow jigs. I don't make any money on them. I just sell them for what it basically costs me and then to ship it. So they're $10. If you're interested in getting, in, getting one of them, Please just email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabove.com, and I would be happy to ship one to you. I will invoice you through PayPal. 
but please know that I you have to contact me through email because I need your email address to be able to invoice you. Okay, now I've got a mini glue dot and I'm just gonna take that, I'm gonna put it right over here on the side and now I'm going to grab my bow and I'm gonna set it right here at an angle and I just thought that was a really nice little embellishment there. Then we're gonna grab these iridescent pastel gems and I'm gonna pull out one of the kind of, they're kind of a very pale orange down here. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna put it right there. And that adds that little bit of bling that I'm looking for. And as long as we're here, I've got a Wink of Stella glitter pen and we can add a little bit of bling to our flowers. And I'm just gonna come down here and do that here. I think Estella is another thing that's really easy to use. If you don't have one, you may want to add it to your next order because it just really adds a little bit of glimmer to your project that's so pretty. Okay, we can um, adhere all these layers together. And then I have another masking technique that I'm going to share with you. Like I said, there are so many different ways to use a masking technique, just tons and tons of them. I can't wait to see what the rest of the design team for the Totally Techniques group do with their masking. Oh, I was gonna put this on dimensionals, but I forgot, and so I'll just glue it down in here. But you could put this whole layer on dimensionals, and that's a really nice look too. So here's our first card using masking and again, perfect for um, a quick and easy card or maybe if you're a beginner crafter and you don't have a lot of layers of cardstock, you can use this to make it appear as if you have a lot of layers. Okay, next up, I have a three and three quarters by five inch piece of basic white cardstock. And then I took my two and a half inch stylish shapes die and I just die cut a circle. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna bring that balmy blue back in here and that blending brush, and I'm just going to hold this very um, firmly in place. That's what I was trying to say. Now, I'm gonna start, See how you get that glob? That's why you wanna kind of blend off your blending brush before you actually start blending with it. I don't want a big blob on my cardstock. And I'm just gonna hold this circle in place and I am going to come around here. I see I moved it a little bit, don't let it move. And again, I'm starting on that circle so I don't get any globs of color any place. And I'm just gonna come around here and blend. To do one more run with that. Oops, it's starting to move. Hang on, we don't want that. Hold on to it, hold it in place. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, what I would do with this particular layer is again, I'm going to use that something fancy sentiment said it says I didn't forget your birthday I'm just stretching out the celebration and I like that sentiment too I'm going to come in here and I'm going to stamp that right in the center and then what I did is I stamped a bunch of the smaller flowers okay the smaller flowers two-step stamping I stamped those on a basic white scrap I also stamped the leaves and then using the two-tone flora dies, I die cut all of those images to give me this card. So that's how I did this card. I masked that circle using a die cut circle. You'll notice that I did put Wink of Stella on all of these flowers. I raised this one and this one up with dimensionals and then I used the middle of the pastel gems that have kind of a blue tone on here to add a little bling to my, to my card. So we have two different masking techniques. 
both of them very simple, both of them a great idea for any stamper, but especially good for stampers that might be beginners that don't have a lot of tools to use. This is the perfect way to get that appearance of layers. Now, don't forget to click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming up. Plus, if you click right up here, that's gonna take you over to my blog where you're gonna find all the dimensions, the ingredients, all the details, still photos, and a replay of this video if you need it on my blog. This is my current host code. If you're in the United States and you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. Please use this code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code you're gonna get some benefits from Stampin' Up, some rewards, and I want you to have those. As always, you guys, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. If you need catalogs, let me know. I am happy to supply you with those. Otherwise, you are going to find an online store right on my blog, and you can look at the catalog online if that is something that works good for you. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.